hi guys and welcome to another video today we'll be just playing through the first five to ten minutes of the game I've been making it's called the Ribbon Order it's a basic RPG game the title probably will change but I just thought I'd let you have a look at what I've been doing so it starts off we're in a jail the main character obviously is a little cutesy guy and then it pops up just the instructions so people know what to do and how to move it's still obviously working on it and then I'll read what they say Halt prisoner where do you think you're going? How did I get here? Where am I? We found you washed up on the shore you need to ask the mayor if you want to know more he ordered you to come here but before I let you go I must ask a favor. Please kill that slime. It's been stealing all my food for weeks. See, they always want you to do something, don't they? So, if we run over here, in order to get past, we've obviously got to defeat the evil slime. So, what you have to do is interact with it, and then he wants to eat us, apparently. Then we jump into the battle scene turn-based fighting system, very simple, and at the moment all we have is obviously just basic attacks because the individual of slime is pretty easy prey, and we get a little bit of money and some gold. So off we go here, and the guard should be quite happy with us. See, he thought we'd never get rid of him, but now we need to head straight for the mayor's barn and it's just north of here so he lets us know all of that information and then he moves out of the way so we can actually pass now we load up into the main city which or sort of the starting town and it's quite straightforward it has everything you need flower patch, a church, item shop and in a pub and if we have a look at some of the graves they all say something and this starts little conversations and stuff so I've been trying to make as many things as interactive as possible. So this town's Lindos, as you can see on the, the town sign, which I've spelled wrong, which I need to change. But And see here, if we go out onto the world map, you can actually see there's some stuff, but we can't leave anywhere just yet, so we'll go back into the, the town, because I haven't actually worked on any of the things outside of this town. Um, I'll just take you a quick look in the pub here and it's something I've been trying to do is the conversations are different when you meet people so to start with if I come to this lady for example life's a funny little thing so much to do where she says that and then this lady at the piano for example she doesn't want to speak to me at all before we actually speak to the mayor so we might as well just head there and the same story with most of the characters so we'll head to the, the mayor's barn, which is obviously the barn looking building. And just to make sure, yep, there we go, the mayor's barn. So we'll go inside. And it's strange how the large door turns into one, but never mind. It's all part of the mystery of gaming. And here's the mayor on his little throne inside his storeroom. Obviously quite happy collecting everything. And then he obviously says we come round and then we want to know why obviously we were in the jail in the first place and our main character doesn't know who he is so he's trying to obviously find that out and then he's obviously the chat goes on and he wants to know why we're here and now comes to the where the main story actually starts he thought we could actually fight and we look like we can handle ourselves and the town he claims is in need of fighters and he said you see the men of this town are going missing something's taking them in the night we need an outsider to help us and then because we don't know who we are or what skills we have we can't we don't know if we can help and then he says if we do help then he'll happily help us try to find out what's going on and who we are so we agree to that and then he says the best place to go is the pub because they know everything so all the talking happens at the pub, doesn't it? So we head to the pub here. And now they should have actually changed what they're saying. 
see, and she says that the wants to know if spirits are real, and that she thinks that they're to blame uh, with actually what's going on. So we've got the drunk guy here, and he still doesn't know what's going on. He says they're just stories, and he doesn't believe it. But the slightly more sober lady said that she heard angels singing about it, so we don't know whether to trust a slightly sober lady or a drunk one, but let's try the piano lady. And she says they take them only at night, but at least she's willing to talk to us now. And the bar lady says that obviously she thinks it's to do with evil spirits, so we should probably look for spiritual guidance. And where do you get that? Obviously at the church, so we'll head over to the church. Now, trying to avoid everything else. And I don't think, oh yeah, they're the spirit center, so we know exactly where we're going. And there's an angel there, obviously presiding over her one woman congregation. So, look after yourself down there. So she obviously, I need to change that, her speech is a bit of a head of what it should be, but and she can sense obviously we're confused so we want to know how she knows that because we just arrived and she says it doesn't matter but the answers are down the stairs so we'll just head straight down the stairs to find out and look here's a nice statue and he agrees and we can even play on the piano a little bit beautiful sound but we'll carry on with the main mission down the stairs as that's where we want to be. So now we're in the crypts just underneath and it looks like there's where we need to go down that little hole with the rope so we want to get rid of, open that door somehow the, the jar's empty let's have a look at the pile of bones here in the corner Ooh, some pile of bones, oh, and they've come to life it's a baby skeleton so we can either choose to escape or fight, but I'm feeling like we can take them down quite easily. Yeah, they're pretty weak, so we should be able to do this quite easily. There we go. Oh, we've been blinded. Yeah, now we keep missing because of the blind. But hopefully we'll get into lucky hits like that. Come on, let's get some crazy. Yeah, yeah, there we go. And then, uh, see, we've done get a lot of money and a lot of experience, so, yeah, and we better watch out for those bones. So, I think I'm gonna avoid all the bones from now on, because I don't want to fight too many creatures at the moment. Break all three, then you shall see. So, that's a clue to how to open that door above. And see, we can't fit through that hole there to just sneak through. So let's have a fine. Let's go up here. The tune of the forgotten. Should we break the tablet? Yeah, let's go ahead and break that. So we strike it and it crumbles. And see the animation there. It actually changed. So that took quite a lot of work. Um, there's a chest. So we'll head straight for that. Oh, first we'll get the other other tablet. And then the same message again. So this must be the second of the tablets. So we'll break that. And again, that's now smashed. Let's see what we can get from the chest. A potion, nice. So if we come across anything too nasty. Uh, that's empty as well. And these tablets can be destroyed in any order, which took an awful lot of trying to figure out and then a distant door crumbles so hopefully that's the one we're after let's go over to it and have a look ah uh, yep there we go the doors now crumbled so we had to break all three to get down so now we're in the lower part of the crypts which looks pretty dangerous with an awful lot of bodies and let's read what this has to say so someone's finally figured it out hey and well, there's nobody there, so who's that? And uh, it seems like it's the keeper of the damned. Oh, there he is. Let's see. You must face me to know secrets. Surprise, surprise. They always want to fight. So there you go. He's a pretty evil looking guy. 
and hopefully we should be able to take him down. We've got a post in here. Hopefully it's got that fire, but unfortunately it doesn't give much damage, so... Yeah, 17 HP, so we should be fine with this one. He's obviously impressed with our skills, but he lets us know that we're too late. This was just a diversion. The kidnappings were merely a means to get rid of the men one by one. Now there's no one left to stop them with us down here. And he sort of laughs like all evil villains do. And that tablet broke, which all of which takes quite a lot of work to actually figure out. So we'll head back through. Um, unfortunately, there's no shortcut here, so... We'll have to run all the way around back to the church. But most of this has taken a lot of work to do. Quite surprisingly, it's sort of the actual setting up of the maps and everything's very easy. But getting the interactive bits to work takes an awful lot of sort of logical thinking. Making sure nothing breaks something else when you do it and it all ends up being rather complicated but at least we're back out of the crypts now into the church he still thinks the statue's beautiful let's have a look to see if the lady knows any more you must run and tell the mayor quickly but I fear it's too late so she seems to have some inside knowledge of what's going on or she can sense it or something like that so let's run back to the mayor and we'll find out what has happened and what the the keeper of the damned is actually on about and yep oh no oh no so he's pretty worried so we ask him what's up and they've taken her they took her right from under our noses this is bad real bad what will king say oh no someone has to tell him and then the mayor looks at us obviously we're gonna have to do it i know you've done so much for us already but if you were not down there this might not have happened hey that doesn't seem too fair does it but yeah, we don't want uh, him to blame us. I don't know anything what's going on, who went missing. And it's obviously the princess. You've been, and now we get his permission to actually leave the city, go west and tell the king and find her. So we can actually head out now if we wanted to, to the actual castle on the side there see down there to the red but I'll end the video here and then work on this some more and before I go we've got obviously as it's Christmas now we've got a Santa here and he has a message for everyone so Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and oh and he wants you to check out my channel for more videos thanks a lot guys have a nice Christmas bye